Hello everyone and welcome back to Robbie Plays Amnesia The Dark Descent. Oh, I just now remembered where I was. And that I don't have any land or fluid. Go that way. Oh, that's helpful. Not very, but a little. Oh, God. It's snacking on stuff over there. Let's make sure it continues to do that. Feed the big spooky monster. for a little bit, didn't I? Um, oh, shit. There is nothing for me to throw over here. Oh, there, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, go back that way. Oh, of course it's locked. Why is it locked? What the hell is that? Hollow. Are you kidding me? Right. Let's get the hell out of there. I hate that thing. I really hate that thing. Something large rushed across his leg, and he felt himself being dragged by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Okay, I think we're safe in this area. Don't. No. Oh, God. Are you serious? Oh, come on! Ow, it's right on my ass. And I'm in. Block the path, run. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, just throw boxes at the splashy water monster. I'm sure that's very useful. Oh. Yeah, just book it. Don't look around, just book it. Oh, I 
thought we were done with this thing. This is further than I've ever gotten playing on my own, so... I don't know a lot of what's coming up next. Oh, please tell me we're done with that thing. Yeah, we got an achievement. Oh, I did finally, like a non-idiot, turn off my Facebook notifications on here. Oh, freedom. Freedom. Maybe, sort of. Oh, fuck you. No, I don't want to go that way. That's creepy. I don't even... Grabbing the water? What the hell am I grabbing? Okay, then. That's creepy. It's like a fucking baby doll face on it. Ugh. I suppose this is what the other hall used to look like. Guest rooms! I wonder if they have any guests. Are there any guests in? Probably not. Oh, fuck you. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? I don't know. What wouldn't they? Oh, that's cool. Gravity affects it. Okay. Fuck you, bug. That's empty. Second July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah one of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make. But you're worried for him. Probably should be. Ooh. Laudanum. Yep, got me some good old fashioned alcohol. Well, sort of. Laudanum was, uh, known for its in, uh, intoxicating effects. I beat things with it? 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The log, nature of this text log, ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts log, of transpired log, events. It's better than bad, it's good. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. What rolls down the stairs, a loner in Paris rolls over your neighbor's dog. Chamber. Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert hmm. states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb... Yeah, don't I have the orb? Apparently not. I have a rock. I'm just gonna... Hmm. That looks suspiciously like a body. I don't think it is, but it kind of looks like one. Rock. 
rock the Casbah. Yep, this room has been thoroughly rifled through. Ooh. Get some more of those, please. Fuck you, I hate these roaches. Stuck due to a broken lock. Hmm. Well, I got me a crowbar here. That was loud. The key. Please let it be here. Yeah, yeah. Vision back would be nice, please. Thanks. Cloth bits, cloth bits, all the cloth. Fourth of July. 1839. Hey, 4th of July! It's, it's almost the 4th of July. Is assembled in... And is awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Mm. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own. With Black no magic! Impressive. Sorcery! The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is mm -hmm. all too strange. Or black magic. I'm gonna go with the black magic option there. Well, I had a crowbar, but Shh. I'm not here. Yeah, you better go away. Freaking creepy blech thing. Blech. Good, it's leaving. <sighs> Despite all the bravado, I don't like those things. They're pretty creepy. Sir William Smith had been marked, there was no way for him to know that a young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh, I could probably stop crouching. It's okay. It's all good. The study. I wish I had a study. That'd be really cool to have. What was that? Is that the door behind me? Right, no oil. Woof, 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 woof. I hear dogs. Okay. Let's at least get a little light in here. Oh, come on. Let's play some hopscotch, why don't we? I want to use more because I don't have many more. Okay, fair enough. Figure as soon as I say something about it, I'm given one. How's my sanity? Crystal clear. It's all good. I'm all good. I'm not losing my mind at all. Not, not everything's horrible. Oh god. What the hell is this? That's a dead dog. Oops. Oops. I, uh... Do not mean to do that. Canis lupus familiars. I ha After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induces stretch with no shit, which seems to trigger an androgynous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I could see it. It reeks of cosmic genius. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. Yeah, do you think? 
I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work. Why are you torturing dogs? More experiments must be formed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the experience of terror. This is fucking awful. Why, why are we cutting up and torturing dogs? And birds? <laughs> why? It's entirely unnecessary. And of course, I'm gonna hallucinate more now. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh no! I don't want to hear this. No! No! What a mess! I should have sharpened the saw. Oh no! It's definitely there. Why? He's hello. I'm not surprised. I figured it's hello there. Alrighty then. What's that book called? Can't read it. Don't know. Rock. Squishy rock. I can hear barking now. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I am still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power essence within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Man, fuck you. Creepy piece of shit. Ugh. Oh, I hear all the barking now. Oh, I don't want to hear the barking. I need oil for the lantern. This is collapsed. Oh, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, uh, hi. Well, there's something out there, so. Hammer time. Da 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 can't touch this. Oh! Where'd that come from? That's nice. Now here... There's a tinder box. This is, this is the, uh... Platforming section of the game. God, that stuff is everywhere. Still hear the barking. Are those the ghost doggies? Yay, more weird relics. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My practice spans centuries from where from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I've done but <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm tired. I have done much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. No idea what they're talking about. You know what? You know what? Whatever you are, a weird monster out there. Fuck you. Jeez. I may or may have not have just hurled that out of existence. Yeah, I'm gonna carry this around. I'm just gonna throw, throw that at anything that attacks me. Flow cycle rod. Oh, if the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure 
before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read 8 up, 8 down. Mm. Make sure the flow is set according to the flow following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configurations until all rods are inserted. Fancy. Back to hearing saw. I'm going to call this Stefan the Saw. And he's going to be my buddy. And he's going to kill anything that comes near me. Come on, Stefan. Or not. Alright, wow. Well, fuck you, Stefan. I still hear the barking dogs. That makes that just makes me sad. That's fucked up. It's because I threw a chair at you. Probably. Hit whatever it was in the face with a chair. Now it doesn't like you. I mean, can I really blame it that much? I did hit it in the face with the chair. I'm assuming. Uh oh. What? Oh, another note. Well done. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student and friend, John Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 years. It is as inexplicable as Heliodramas described it in the Hortus con Conclusus. It was as we... Bleh, I can't English today. It was as it was told about. An underground mithric temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. I don't think those things work together. Its color washed well rich. Yeah, that contrast is it's physically impossible, so it's a magic stone. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. As I said, I was saying, I was staying in a nearby village called Aldstadt, investigating one of the antiquated <sighs> sorry trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic, en enigmatic artifacts. I, this thing is cursed. Apparently, I can't read it. They were real. Oh God! Another big long page. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something that was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. So that's probably what's out of the woods. And I threw a chair at it. Good to know. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. I almost read that whole thing without stumbling. This close. Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water, I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind. <sighs> I'm sorry, I am, it is 11 o'clock right now, and I am tired, and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but 
I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. They make a good salami. Uh, <laughs> side note, uh, the Guardian had taken the orb from me, but I still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Aldstadt. Your friend and mentor. Mentor. The shortest page, and I can't read it. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Well, fuck. So he found some fucked up shit, and I wanted to find some fucked up shit, and he tried to tell me not to, but I probably did it anyway. I'm tired of hearing the barking, it just makes me sad. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. go that way. And I can go that way. I'm not going back that way. I won't be staying far away from that fucking thing as I possibly can. Because fuck that thing. Storage. We'll go to storage. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. That's kind of creepy. That's why I read. I don't know what I just wrote down, but okay. I'm just gonna light up this room so I can actually see where doors and shit are. I hate wasting tinderboxes, but yeah, shit like this, I can't see jack shit over there now. Nope, can't open the box. Uh... Yeah, I'm aware of that. Alexandra, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flooded drain, and I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Ooh, explosives. Come on. I need oil. I please have some oil. That would be absolutely lovely. I, I, the fact that the door is open, I, I, I don't trust it. I have no tinder boxes either. Of course I don't. You know, because going insane is fun. Doesn't everyone want to go insane? I mean, I know I certainly do. There's a tinder box. Let's light this. Let's use it. Oh, look, another tinder box. Probably wouldn't have found that without lighting that. Oh, 
Oh, go away, spooky wind. I don't like the spooky ghost wind. Oh, yes, yeah, so all this dust falling from the ceiling really helps, too. A drill part. Tinder boxes in this game. Way, way more. Everything's always dark. There's more. There's another drill part. Let's combine the drill part with the drill part. Oh, and I gotta find all the parts first. Well, that doesn't help me then, does it? This seems like everything that's over here. So let's get the ever loving fuck out of here before I go insane. Yeah, because I got a slight headache. Yeah, everyone loves having a slight headache. It's probably from the fact that the whole world is wibbly wobbly and timey wimey and whatnot. Oh, that's bright. I know I want light, but not that. Okay, I don't know who that was. But now I can hear her. Lovely. Oh. Party machine. Nope, I'm done. I'm good. Good, good. I don't want it to. I'm good. I think I think I'm good. Yep. No, I think I'm good. Yeah. No. I'm. Yeah. Oh, stop! Go away. Go away. I don't want any. last drill part. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. I am not here. You cannot see me. There, I made the drill. Go away. Go away. You are not wanted here. Eat a dick. I don't know what I need the drill parts for. Got them and now I'm leaving. Leave. Very quickly would be nice. Oh, let's leave. I don't want anything to do with that thing. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Interesting. I just say, the lore in this game is really interesting. I. Yeah. Oh, now I'm gonna hallucinate over this thing. Forget your bag, Daniel. I won't have your bag, Daniel. There's no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. A parasol? Ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying. I assure you. Yeah, no. Uh, death by sunburn sounds unpleasant. Say, uh, nice pair of legs you got there. Weird, disturbing, creepy fountain. Um, alright, I'm going to call it here for t uh, tonight. Um, I'll probably continue on play a couple more sections, a couple more sessions, just to keep the creep factor going and, you know, have some fun with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it here. A uh, nice, lovely shot of this fountain. How's that? Don't, don't you just love staring at that? Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you like this content, check out our Patreon if you wish to donate to us to help us improve our content and, you know, get more things like this. 
and as always, have fun.